following those new developments today tied to the government's secret gathering of the phone and internet data of millions of Americans. And now we know the man behind the leaks, a 29-year-old low-level employee for a U.S. defense contractor, but one with a lot of access, it would seem. This morning, after coming forward, he is now holed up in a Hong Kong hotel. We want to get right to NBC's chief foreign affairs correspondent, Andrea Mitchell, with the latest. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Administration that has been sharply criticized for its aggressive policy toward leakers has now been shaken to its core by the man who revealed himself as the source of some of the nation's most closely held secrets to The Guardian and The Washington Post. Uh, my name is Ed Snowden. I'm uh, 29 years old. I work for Booz Allen Hamilton as an infrastructure analyst for NSA uh, in Hawaii. Edward Snowden says he copied top secret documents, flew to Hong Kong, and gave them to the Guardian's Glenn Greenwald after becoming disillusioned at the CIA and then hardened at the NSA over its surveillance programs. I'm just another guy who sits there day to day in the office, watches what happening, what's happening, and goes, this is something that's not our place to decide. The public needs to decide whether these programs and policies are right or wrong. Before Snowden revealed himself, I talked exclusively to Intelligence Chief James Clapper about the leaker. This is someone who, for whatever reason, has chosen to violate a sacred trust uh, for this country. The damage that these revelations incur are huge. Can I assume from that, can I infer that there has been a referral to track down the leak? Absolutely. We have, uh, the NSA has filed a crimes report on this already. In a statement, Booz Allen said Snowden worked for the company for less than three months and that they would work with authorities on the investigation. Clapper said the top secret documents Snowden leaked, including a presidential order to choose foreign targets for cyber attack, have caused huge damage. It is, uh, again, as in the case of this presidential dire uh, directive, an egregious violation of um, a sacred trust. Why do you need every telephone number? Why is it such a broad vacuum cleaner approach? Well, you have to start someplace. We have refined it and tried to, to make it ever more precise and more disciplined. At NSA facilities, analysts like Snowden work on huge amounts of stored data. The NSA says the program has adequate oversight from Congress and the courts. Targeted Snowden everybody. disagrees. Well, I, sitting at my desk, uh, certainly had the authorities to, to wiretap anyone from you or your accountant to a federal judge to even the president if I had a personal email. Snowden says he knows that he faces certain prosecution if he cannot get asylum in a country like Iceland. Intelligence officials say they are now reviewing the damage that has been done by these disclosures, damage that has also led to a political uproar in Great Britain over how the leaks have also compromised America's allies. Savannah. All right, Andrea Mitchell in Washington, thank you.